This is the innovative and versatile pneumatic multiplier, the J-Gun. The J stands for Jetide, the high torque division that handles advanced bolting solutions. It is operated by air rather than hydraulics, offering greater freedom of movement and flexibility in many bolting applications. Unlike an impact wrench that produces unregulated force, the J-Gun is an automated torque multiplier, which delivers measured and consistent torque on every bolt, combining both precision and power. Torque output is controlled by carefully metering the air pressure supplied to the tool. The direction of the tool, whether tightening or loosening, is set with the flick of a switch while the trigger provides instant start and stop control. J-Guns come in both single and dual speed models in a range of sizes and power ratings. The tools are numbered according to their maximum torque output in thousands of foot-pounds. For example, the J-1 will produce about a thousand foot-pounds of measured adjustable torque, while the J-3 will produce 3,000 foot-pounds of torque at the same pressure. The dual speed model shifts easily from high speed for fast rundown to high power for accurate torque and back again by rotating the speed control ring. For standard nuts and bolts, a reaction arm steadies the tool, but the J-Gun is also fully capable of the advantages of the high torque washer because of its unique splined concentric drive design. Let's see the J-Gun in action. Before we begin, we should first put on our personal protective equipment. At a minimum, this should include safety glasses with side shields, sturdy gloves, and steel-toed shoes. Of course, job conditions and local work rules may require other safety items such as hearing protection, face shields, hard hats, and fire or chemical resistant clothing. Nothing is as important or as urgent as your safety. Before connecting the J-Gun, check the condition of the hoses, connectors, and the general condition of the air regulator and tools for any obvious damage. Any defects must be corrected before pressurizing the system. For optimum performance, the J-Gun requires a clean, dry air supply of 30 cubic feet per minute at 90 PSI. The supply hose should be connected to the input side of the pressure regulator assembly with any connector compatible with your air system. Connect the J-Gun's air hose to the output side of the regulator and snap on the J-Gun with a quick disconnect coupler. The air control assembly, or FRL, consists of a filter, a pressure regulator, and a lubricator. Do not operate the J-Gun without this FRL unit in the airline, as serious damage to the tool can result. The job of the filter is to remove any debris or water from the air supply. The filter can be drained as needed with the valve on the bottom. The regulator meters input air pressure accurately controlling the torque output of the tool. The lubricator's job is to introduce a fine mist of oil into the airstream to lubricate and protect the internal parts of the tool against corrosion or damage. Depress the detent and twist the clear plastic reservoir to remove it. Fill it to the indicator mark with a quality air tool oil. With air flowing to the tool, you will be able to see drops of oil from inside the clear plastic knob on top of the lubricator. Unscrewing this knob increases the oil flow, and screwing it in decreases the oil drops. Adjust the flow to approximately one drop every 10 seconds. On the back of the tool is the patented safety plate, which must be depressed to engage the tool drive. In the high-speed mode, the J-Gun operates at several hundred revolutions per minute, while torque is limited so that the tool cannot spin or kick back in the operator's hands. In the power or torquing position, the tool will rotate with regulated force, but before we can torque, the tool must be shifted to the low-speed power mode. The reaction arm will not attach until this shift is done, ensuring that it cannot spin at high speed. Now let's put the system to work. Let's suppose that the job at hand is to tighten these inch and a half studs with two and three eighths nuts 
to 575 foot-pounds of torque using the dual-speed J1. Since the turning force of the tool is determined by the air pressure supplied, we must consult the pressure torque conversion chart for our specific tool to find out how much pressure to apply. In this case, we are using the dual speed J1. Looking down the foot pound column, we find 577, which is very close to our target torque. This corresponds to 40 psi. With the tool on a stable surface, turn on the air supply and adjust the incoming air pressure up to 40 psi by turning the regulator knob. Always adjust pressure from lower to higher. With the tool in high speed mode, quickly run down all the nuts. Shift the tool to the low speed torquing mode. Engage the nut and turn the reaction arm so that it blocks against the next nut. In the torquing mode, the drive will not turn until the safety lever plate on the back of the tool is depressed. This patented safety lever keeps the operator's hands out of the danger zone. Run the tool until it stalls and will no longer advance the socket. You have applied 575 foot-pounds of torque to that nut, and every nut will get the same tightening force until you change the pressure on the regulator. Note that your bolting plan may require tightening and increasing steps. If that is the case, simply adjust the air pressure accordingly for each step. It is always a good practice to make a final check pass on all nuts because tightening one may change the achieved load in its neighbor. To remove the nuts, we will reverse the process, this time beginning in low speed power mode. Shift the directional control to the loosen side. Apply the wrench and position the reaction arm against the next nut, keeping in mind that the arm will now move clockwise opposite the direction of the socket. Depress the safety lever. Loosen all the nuts until they can be turned by hand. Remove the reaction arm and shift the tool into high speed and proceed to run off the nuts. The same process in step supply when using the high torque washer and driver, except that there is no need to remove or reapply the reaction arm. With the dual drive socket in place, the wrench can be speedily shifted from run down to torquing to run off all without any danger of pinch points or needing a backup wrench to hold the opposite nut. There you have it, the J-Gun. Pound for pound, the fastest and most versatile torquing tool in the world. Please ask your local sales representative to demonstrate the J-Gun on your bolting applications and let you take it for a test drive.